Hi, Ray Sherson. Welcome back to Black Dog Speed Shop. Today we're going to look at a few projects that we have in the shop, and we're going to start off with our Black Dog 69 Camaro. So initially it started off as a Dynacorn 69 Camaro shell, uh, which we built uh, completely from the ground up. This has Detroit Speed front and rear suspensions on it, Ford 9-inch. It's got a T56 transmission, and it has a special Black Dog uh, 510 cubic inch LS motor that puts out 825 horsepower to the rear wheels. Um, the reason it's apart today is the vehicle has been on the road for about four years. Um, it's been driven very hard. We've autocrossed it. Uh, we've driven it to local shows and things like that. Um, so we're going through all the systems. Um, there's some upgrades we're going to be doing uh, to the brakes, um, which uh, Dick is going to talk to us about. So there's some experimental things we've done on this car, and this was done four years ago, as Ray mentioned. And um, we're just going through it, making sure, see what held up, what didn't held up. One thing is there are no power brakes on this. It has race brakes, which has a dual master. Um, so we're gonna now add power brakes. We found out it was, didn't have enough brake. Um, so this will be, these two masters will be eliminated. There'll be one single master. So a new cover that we fabricated to cover the washer, the wiper motor and the masters will now be remade when we get the new system in. What we have here are some of the things that we custom fabricated for this car. This is a cold air ram cold air intake system for the air filter. This fits under the car and goes out the chin spoiler. So it picks up air, pu pushes it, forces it up into the air box, which is where the air filter sits and grabs the air to even out the look of the front of the car. We built a scoop on the passenger side to cool the dry sump oil tank. So here's the uh, custom intake uh, for the 510. Um, in order to get that 820 horsepower, it required something that really could flow a lot of air. Um, got a 92 millimeter throttle body on it, made by Precision Metalcraft. So in order to get all the power to the ground uh, with this vehicle, um, we went with a 355 series tire. It's a 355 3019. Um, so this vehicle is mini tough to accommodate these, and ordinarily you wouldn't be able to get these to fit on a standard Camaro. So um, even with these tires, uh, it still struggles to get down the road without spinning the tire. So a lot of power going through uh, the rear end of this vehicle, but. Um, this is our best bet to make that happen, and a really nice oh, pairing package too as well. But yeah, nice, nice big white tire here. So as you can see here, we've got Brembo brakes on this. We figured with the performance that this vehicle was going to have, we really wanted to be able to get as much stopping out of it as possible. So we went with 14-inch uh, Brembo rotors, and there's six piston calipers. Um, and under here, you can kind of see the mini tubs also uh, in order to, to fit those large tires. And you can also see the custom exhaust. Uh, that we fabricated to go through the rear fender, which gives a nice reveal on the outside here. And um, real nice package. It's, uh, it's, it's very, very slick looking. There's a lot of, a lot of things that are, you don't necessarily notice until somebody kind of points them out to you. So uh, they did a really nice job getting all this stuff fabricated. Okay. So as you can see here, um, we also brought the rear bumpers in too to make them as close to flush as possible. It just gives a really clean look. Uh, when you're going with kind of a, a modern resto mod, you want to kind of you know, trim all the edges and make things look real tight. So I believe that was uh, executed very well here. This is a 2015 Trans Am 2 car called a TA2 uh, series race car. This is a long time customers of ours who used to run a GT4 class and has moved up to this class, which is two or three classes higher than what he used to run. So he bought this car used, and we are going through 100% of the entire car, checking, t disassembling the whole thing, and replacing what is bad, what we think is going to go bad, and uh, general things like that. So when he takes it out the race, he has no issues. Some of the things we've done on this car so far is replace new quarter panels. There's a little damaged. He wants it perfect, so we put hung new quarter panels. We've done new interior on the car, all metal work. We built custom tail lights for them. Uh, in road racing, they need brake lights to notify the person behind them. Uh, the motor will be sent out. It'll be gone through exactly like what the car has gone through on our end. So the, motor, the engine builder will go through the entire motor and make sure everything is correct. So this build is going to be uh, pretty labor intensive, as you can see. So we're going to be doing updates on this on the months to come. Um, once all the mechanicals and everything are updated and the motor's back in, um, then it's going to get a complete wrap. He's got a very, very cool uh, design that's going to be going on this. So we'll be, so we'll be looking forward to seeing that in, in the next months. So this is a shop car. Um, this was purchased a few years back uh, from one of the, the main major auctions uh, in the country. 
This has got a 6.2 liter. Uh, this did have a DOD system on there, which was a cylinder deactivation system for better gas mileage. So it's our consensus that this vehicle was initially built for like a power tour type thing, long haul scenario. So it had a 308 open rear end in it, which, you know, performance wise doesn't do very well. So we put a, a 373 Posi in it. We still kept the 10 bolt um, because we're not throwing a whole lot of power through there, maybe four, 450 the rear wheels. Um, we're refreshing the engine while we have everything taken apart and we found some issues with the wiring that we didn't like as well so we're putting a new harness in it so by the time it's all done um, it'll run and drive it'll do everything it's supposed to do and this vehicle will be for sale when it's finished so. hi i'm tony gaples owner of black dog speed shop driver of the number 11 black dog speed shop gt4r camaro um, last year we won another championship it's uh four and five years and we're looking to win another one this year. We, uh, you guys are really lucky today that uh, you get to see something no one else has seen yet, except for any, anybody that's part of the Black Dog crew, and this is our, my new 2018 car. We'd rather not have the 2018 car, but the 2017 car turned into a paperweight at the end of the season. So we're looking, looking forward to being in this one. Nothing much has changed on this car. It's pretty much the same car that uh, I drove last year, but uh, unfortunately, it's a new one. So from here, uh, I'd like to take you guys over to show you our new shop that we're, we're building out. Hi, Ray Sorensen here from Black Dog Speed Shop. Uh, you can see we had a little update uh, a few months ago about some progress we're making our new building. And uh, as you can see, we're, we're making some more headway here. So uh, we're, hoping to, we're hoping to be done in a couple months here and be moved in. And, uh, hopefully we'll have an open date uh, uh, scheduled for an open house uh, that the guys are working on so we can have everybody out and show them what we're up to. Thanks for watching. We'll have an update next month on our progress and hope you stay tuned.